Hello? <coughs> Hello? Uh, screen is visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, we start the uh, third unit, uh, basically on the symmetric encryption techniques. So, we start actually the latest encryption algorithms uh, or currently we use uh, these algorithms uh, for our application. Uh, what are the purpose of encryption techniques? It is used to provide the confidentiality. So, first we take the brief overview of uh, different encryption techniques and then start the actual working. And so, it provides the confidentiality to the data. Just uh, I want to check uh, only recording is there or not. Okay. Uh, so it provides the confidentiality to the data. What is mean by confidentiality? Uh, it is one of the service. We already learn about uh, different services. So it is one of the security services which provide. Uh, the confidentiality to the data that means only authorized person can encode the data or decode the data and read it so there are basically encryption techniques are classified into two types one is block encryption techniques and second is stream so we also say it block ciphers and stream ciphers ciphers means algorithms so uh, block ciphers uh, and stream cipher, this classification is based on the number of bits processed at a time. That means whether it, uh, we already have a overview of uh, different classical encryption techniques. In this, uh, some encryption techniques use one bit at a time and convert it into another bit. Some take as a group, just like uh, in Hill cipher, we take uh, in the matrix form and when we multiply this matrix, that means one bit is not converted into another bit, but it is as a bit. Or uh, in Playfair cipher, we take at a time two uh, as a group of two alphabets, and we convert this into different two alphabets. So, in this classification is based on whether you have to take how many number of bits you have to process at a time. So, block cipher, a block of fixed number of bits is processed at a time. That means those ciphers or those uh, encryption algorithms are called block ciphers where the block of fixed number of bits is processed at a time. That means instead of taking one bit at a time and process it like Caesar cipher or, or monoalphabetic cipher, here we take a, some a block of some fixed number of bits in that block and we convert this all bits at a time into a block of same size. into so we get a cipher text of the same size of the block. Stream cipher, one bit is processed at a time. That means in stream cipher, bit by bit conversion is there, like Caesar cipher. Okay. Uh, block ciphers are faster than stream cipher, definitely because at a time you can define. For example, we will take the example of DES, uh, data encryption standard. So this is one of the symmetric encryption technique where we use a block of 64 bits for processing. That means at a time we process 64 bits of blocks, the plain text letters. And we generate the 64 bits as a ciphertext letters. In AES, advanced encryption standard, in AES, the block size is of 128 bit. So at a time, 128 bits are converted into another 128 bit. That means plain text size is 128, ciphertext block size is also 128. So block ciphers are faster than stream ciphers. So this is the basically uh, why encryption techniques are required. Required. We have some message. We create some message and want to transfer it to our friend or any recipient. Okay. Now in this way, in between, there is an insecure channel. That means when the data is transferred, that means when you enter submit send button, you press the data is not in your control. Now it is going and travels and it reaches to the recipient. In between, anyone can try to attack this 
so this is called insecure channel and opponent try to capture this data from here so to protect our data from this opponent we use some key so that this key is similar that means the same key is used by the sender as well as the recipient so this key is used for encryption as well as decryption now this key is generated by the sender so he transfer this key to the recipient by some different ways that means uh, he can use different uh, methods how to transfer the data instead of transferring with the message so that the opponent don't have this key is not possible it is not possible for him to though he capture the data he can't read the data or the exact meaning of that data so there are different types of encryption one is symmetric encryption second is asymmetric encryption what is symmetric encryption same key is used symmetric indicate the same key is used for encryption as well as decryption so that's why it is called symmetric encryption so only one key is there in asymmetric encryption different keys are required for encryption and decryption that means there are minimum two keys are required in asymmetric encryption one key is used for encryption uh, second key is used for decryption but these two keys should be mathematically related to each other okay so there is again it is also called public key cryptography in this public key cryptography again two more keys are coming in picture that is called one is public key second is private key that means each user instead of having only one key each user having two different keys one is called public key and second is called the private key so he can encrypt the data using his private key and public key is, he say to the recipient so recipient can decrypt using his public key that means this public key and private key having some relationship so in symmetry uh, we will today's lecture or in up to next week we will focus on the symmetric encryption techniques only so what is symmetric encryption only one key is required the same key is used for encryption as well as decryption of the data example of this is des aes id and triple des okay the, we are going to cover uh, these four algorithms in symmetric encryption des data encryption standard aes advanced encryption standard idea international data encryption algorithm and triple ds that means this same ds we have to use three times for encryption or for the data encryption so what is the all these algorithms use only one key the block size these are the block ciphers all are the examples of block ciphers so what is the block size of this ds uses plain text size of 64 bit as a block that means whatever the plain text they divide this into a block of 64 bit each and at a time 64 bits are processed in aes the block size is of 128 bits okay in idea the block size is of 64 bit in triple des the block size is of again 64 bit because triple des is nothing but the des same algorithm we have to implement three times thrice what is the then what is the difference between ds and aes if the block size is same but the key size because the security of anything that means you are using password for your mail id what is, how the password uh, is there many times it is a combination of capital letters small letters special characters and some numbers okay it is guidelines are given that your password should be a combination of all those things now what happen if you and again there is one more thing is mentioned password should have minimum 8 characters that means total combination and the length of the or size of the password is 8 so minimum 8 alphabets or alpha numerics or special characters combination it should be 8 alphabet should be there or 8 characters should be there now what happen why this is required so that if the size of the key is large it is difficult or it takes more time for the attacker to identify the key so aes the key size is 64 for des the key size is 64 for aes the key size is 128 bits 
idea the key size is 128 bit and for triple des it uses three keys for the first encryption it is 64 bit second is the decryption process using second key that is 64 bit again third is the des algorithm is in use for encryption that is 64 bit so total key size is 192 bit then uh, this algorithm before going to each uh, algorithm individually we will go for some basics about the symmetric encryption so these are the components of symmetric encryption that means the whatever the plain text is there sender having the plain text he use some key and some encryption algorithm and encrypt the message what is this encrypted message is called it is called cipher text now this cipher text it transfer to the recipient that means submit it or uh, the send button and then it going towards through the internet to the recipient now this encrypted message that means this cipher text received at the recipient he used the decryption algorithm now suppose here if he use the des the same algorithm is required for decryption if he use the aes the same algorithm that aes is required for decryption and this key also requires same. so same key is required so it is called symmetry and now this plain text is there now in asymmetric this key should be different from this key so that is the basic difference between symmetric and asymmetric so in asymmetric encryption two different keys are required keys are mathematically related to each other that means two different keys are required okay but there should be some relationship that is mathematical relationship between these two different keys these are called public key and private key the key which is publicly available for all are called public key okay it is available we already discuss all these things uh, in the very first lecture because <coughs> whatever your mail id to gen create some mail message and send it to your friend you have two requirements you should have your own mail id and password related to that mail id so this mail id and the password are related to each other yes then this mail id it is known to anybody so it is called public key and the password it is the private key so other than you nobody is able to open your mailbox and read write something or uh, create some message it is not possible without knowing the private key the key which is publicly available for all are called public key the key which is known only to the owner of the key is called private key some of the examples of asymmetric encryption is a diffy hellman algorithm rsa algorithm and elliptic curve cryptography ecc these are some of the example there are so many asymmetric and symmetric encryption techniques are there but as far as our syllabus is concerned we are going to look on some selective algorithms okay now we will go in details of the symmetric encryption first we see how symmetric encryption can be developed that means if you want to design the symmetric encryption how you can design so first thing is that it is based on the pistol structure that means before going for the ds algorithm we will first look about the pistol structure what is mean by pistol structure pistol it is the building block for many block ciphers that means many symmetric encryption techniques they use this pistol structure as the building block that means pistol structure it gives the idea about how we can develop or design our own symmetric encryption block cipher the design of data encryption standard algorithm is based on pistol structure the here what is the idea is given the plain text is split or divide into the blocks of equal size that means it is given the idea how you can process for an encryption cycle. first take the plain text divide this into a block of equal size maybe of 8 bit in a block 16 bit in a block or 64 bit or 128 bit whatever things but you have to divide the plain text into the block of equal size each block the next is take individual block each block is split into two equal parts left part and right part that means take any one block 
divide this into two equal parts. That means all these algorithms are working on bits. That means one zero one zero like this way. So you have to take sixty for example DS sixty four bits. One block you have to take. Split this into two equal parts. That is thirty two bit, thirty two bit. From left side, that means left part and right part. And then you have to process this. There are many rounds, and each round having different circuits. That means after processing of this, in the pistol structure, suggest that it should not be the only one round, and uh, you get the output. No, same round you have to process so many times. Then you may have some question. That means just using for loops for so many times, you can generate the output. In the same way, here also, same round. What is round? What are inside? We will see in detail. In the there are many rounds. You can decide whether there are ten rounds, twelve rounds, fifteen rounds, sixteen rounds, like this way. And each round has different subcases. This is the difference. That means whatever the output. of the first round it is going as input for the second round now for the second round we have to generate suppose there are 10 rounds are there 10 different keys are required so these keys are we don't have to enter we have to enter only one key and this we generate 10 sub keys from this original key so key generation algorithm is plays a very important role in the any symmetric encryption technique okay so this sub keys are generated from the key entered by the user okay and the security of pistol cipher depends on the key size any not only the symmetric encryption any encryption technique the security depends upon the size of the key and the hash function hash function means in the round you have to perform different operations and that is called hash function so what type of operation you are going to perform or you are perform in this that is called the hash function for example if you calculate the xor operation only in there that is also called the hash function okay so how we can design the pistol structure so we have to consider different parameters for the design of so these are the design parameters one is the block size that means pistol structure suggest you you have to consider these five points for the design of the new encryption technique one is block size second is key length or key size third is number of rounds then sub keys and last is the round function okay so round function means this is hash function in the round what different operation you want to perform so this is called round function so i think a block size you understand key length that means the number of alphabets in the key how many number of rounds you have to decide yourself then how you can generate the sub keys what logic you are applying for generation of the sub key from this original key and the round function that inside the round what type of different operations you want to perform so these are the design parameters for any cipher using pistol structure we will uh, look one by one <coughs> block size what is block size it indicates the total number of bits in a block block size indicates how many number of bits are there in a block so larger block size this mean greater security that means uh, if suppose in a block size instead of 64 bit if you take 128 bit at a time so it provides more security but what happen uh, processing time is also required more so pros and cons are always there so you have to select the suitable block size according to your application so block size indicates the total number of bits in a block for des the block size is given they have decided that 64 bit for es 128 bit okay <coughs> now key length it is the length of the key or size of the key larger key sizes means greater security but may reduce the speed so it is always uh, preferred to suppose your password if you select the password having the that means length of the password is 100 character what happen it is very difficult to keep in mind okay because it is always suggested that don't 
keep your password in return form anywhere so don't write it on the paper you have to keep in your mind now if the 100 word length of the character okay you can keep it in mind it's okay but what happen every time you want to type the password it takes lots of time so it length larger key size means greater security but may reduce the speed so you have to select the optimum size of the key that means the key size may be 10 character maybe 15 character like this way okay so for des the key size is selected as key size length of the key size is 64 bit and as far as uh, for aes it is 128 bit okay. we'll go for next parameter so first parameter pistol structure suggests that you should select the proper block size second is it select the size of the key properly and then select the number of rounds so if it is only one round it is uh, attacker may able to get the output or may able to crack the algorithm so it suggested that you should use the number of rounds the security of any block ciphers depend on the number of rounds in the cipher so multiple rounds offer increasing security all this is only one thing is common block size larger block size more security larger key size key length more security number of rounds large number of rounds more security so what is the purpose of these things it provides more security but also at the same time more time is required that means speed is reduced so we also today's world you know what is the importance of speed so speed is important so we have to go for optimum size or block size as well as key as well as number of rounds the next is sub keys now what is sub key from the original key we generate the new keys for example suppose we can take the example simple example suppose uh, we decide that whatever the number is entered you enter some number that is the key okay suppose the number enter is 3 now our key is 3 now what how you have to generate the sub key for the first round the key is key is equal to we write a formula that means it is a, every time you have to that means it should be generalized so the sub key 1 is equal to 3 whatever the key raised to number of round that means that number is for the first round 1 so 3 raised to 1 okay 3 second round 3 square 9 third round 3 cube 27 like this way you can generate or you can generate the formula somewhere like this first round key is 3 raised to 1 minus 1 3 raised to 2 minus 2 whatever things you can generate some formula for the keys so each round uses different keys called sub keys these sub keys are derived from an original key greater complexity in this algorithm should lead to greater difficulty in crypt analysis because if suppose the attacker is able to get the original key and if he don't know what are the sub key, formula for generating the sub keys then it is difficult for him what is the first sub key second sub key like this way or if he able to gen, capture the sub key it should not be possible for him to guess what is the original key is there because in case of security greater security means everything should be open transparent that means all these algorithms if you know whatever the algorithm we are going to learn these are available publicly if you search on google these algorithms are available attackers also uh, get access to this algorithm what is the logic for these algorithms now then also we have to use these algorithms so the security is based on only the what is the key so key should be secure plain text should be secure then it is everything is secure though the algorithm is open to all so greater complexity in this algorithm should lead to greater difficulty in crypt analysis then the last okay, round function the mathematical operation performs on in on each plain text block in each round called round function that means whatever some we have to perform some mathematical operation on each plain text block in each round called round function 
So at a time we are going to process only one block. Once it complete, we take the second block and process it like this way. Greater complexity means greater resistance to cryptanalysis. So the mathematical operation, how you perform, what is the function you are going to use there, the it creates the difficult or it is difficult for the cryptanalyst to guess what is the original plain text is there. So the purpose of route function is to provide the complexity. This is the block uh, uh, crystal structure. In this if you say, uh, say this input plain text, okay, that means basic uh, there once you consider all those things now we have to develop our own algorithm so how we can develop so whatever your plain text is there you have to divide this into number of blocks okay after this you divide this one block this is into plain text means block of some specific size suppose there are 16 bits are there in one block so 16 bits are there now you divide this into left hand side 8 bit right hand side 8 bit okay after this this is the sub key one sub key two like this way okay so there is separate key generation algorithm you have to use and then you generate suppose there are 10 rounds 10 different sub keys we have to generate now first sub key we have to use for this this f is nothing but the hash function we can call or you can say round function okay that means for the first round we have to use this function and this right hand side value we suppose you can say this function is nothing but the XOR. What is this XOR operation? Okay, uh, this right hand side bits. Suppose th these are uh, eight bits. The key size is eight bit. Now this eight and eight, we have to perform some XOR operation here, and it goes here. Now what happens? Left side is also eight bit. You have to again perform XOR operation. Okay, this is the function round one. Now after this, once it complete the left hand side part that means output of the first round you have to transfer to the right hand side part for the second round now the right hand side part of the first round as it is transferred to the left hand side that means this r0 as it is as a l1 and after this function whatever the output of the first round it is transferred to as a r1. that means you can interchange their positions of the bits now Again, this same round is repeated. Only what happened? These are positions of the bits are changed. Second thing is the key is also changed. That is, this is different sub key. That means sub key number two for round number two. In this way, you have to continue and at the end, <coughs> you have to perform swapping. That means whatever the this part it is going to the right hand side, right hand side part it is going to the left hand side. You combine those and you generate the cipher text of the same size if this is a these are size is a 16 bit cipher text size is also 16 bit so this is the crystal structure this is not the algorithm it is the building block that means you can use this idea to build your own cipher now we will go for the next algorithm data encryption standard DES. Okay, this is the actually as far as our uh, unit number three is concerned. This is our first algorithm, symmetric encryption technique. Okay, data encryption standard. Okay. So this is a block cipher designed based on crystal structure. That means it is designed from the crystal structure. It was published in 1977. The plain text block size is of 64 bit. Key size is 64 bit. Number of rounds 60. What are the parameters for crystal structure? Block size. It takes block size of 64 bit. What is the key size? 64 bit. Second parameter. Number of rounds 16. Third parameter. Then various permutation and X boxes are used to provide confusion and diffusion. That means here we use what is meant by per permutation? 
change the position of the bits in the plain text and s box that is also called substitution box some box is there and we use those boxes the permutation boxes is also available substitution boxes are available we use this box to shuffle the positions of this and this provides the confusion and diffusion that means the relationship between the cipher text and the key and cipher text and and the plain text is complicated that means somebody knows the cipher text it's not possible to generate the key as well as the plain text okay so this this is the simple design <coughs> of the ds algorithm so initialization vector then the initial permutation then we have divide this into two blocks 32 bit 32 bit that means this initialization vector means you are 64 bit plain text block once you get 64 bit plain you have to apply the permutation initial permutation initial permutation means suppose uh, you have your ms number from 1 to 64 suppose so 64 students are there in the class or 128 or 192 whatever things we divide these students into a batch of 64 each just like your practical batch of 20 students each like that way suppose in one batch 64 students are there so their roll, roll number start from 1 to 64 okay now what happen this 1 to 64 they can say sequentially 1 2 3 4 like this way during your exam time just like this way now we want to permute it what is mean by permutation we randomly call someone okay roll number 50 come and sit on bench number 1 then on the second position roll number 1 on the third position Roll number sixty-four, like this way. So this is the initial problem. What happened then? Then it is very difficult to know which is the first bit. That means which bit is at the first bit position, which is at the second bit position, like this way. Once you have to perform this, then you have to perform the round. So what is the first round? You divide this into thirty-two bit, thirty-two bit. Left side thirty-two bit, and right side thirty-two bit. And now you have to perform some operation here. that is the round function and this k1 k2 up to k16 because there are 16 rounds are there so this 16 rounds we have to perform so k1 k2 k16 this keys are generated there is separate key generation algorithm now you have to after at the end swapping of right side and left side to each other and then final permute again you have to permute use the permutation table this is reverse of this whatever the initial permutation this final permutation these tables are related to each other and then 64 bit cipher text is generated so take next block again apply from here initial vector initial permutation you generate the second 64 bit cipher text like this way actual working of ds is like this way see here uh, plain text you divide this plain text into a block of 64 bit each okay take any one block apply initial permutation after this you divide this into left 32 bit and right 32 bit okay once you have done these things what is the next thing this right 32 bit you have to apply the expansion permutation what is this we will see in the next lecture then you have to perform the xor with the key sub key generation after this you have to perform the s yes, box operation then p box then left side xor operation so this is nothing but the round function expansion permutation xor s box and p box this is called the round function and up to xor and after this this is the output generated this is the new right part for the second round and the right part is the new left part for the next round and this is the key generation process so i think uh, we should stop here uh, we'll take uh, this from this slide in the next lecture and continue for the ds you have to implement the ds algorithm uh, but simplify ds you should note down your next assignment is simplify ds algorithm before that assignment 3 is already given you have to use those uh, things that means xor operation is there shifting operation is there okay so expansion permutation we have to give 
and now you call those functions only whatever the algorithms you are written and you have to develop or this uh, ds simply by ds so for simply by ds you can read from the internet you can download something you can get simply by ds what is the working of those things and i will give you the material also on simply by ds so it is the instead of 64 bit we can consider 16 bit and uh, then we process it because uh, it is helpful to understand the simply by ds algorithm it is the working is say, similar to the ds uh, so that's all for uh, today's lecture so if you have any question you can ask in the chat box okay uh, we will go to here what is yes box actually it is there uh, but what happened due to time constraint it is difficult see here this is permutation table this is expansion permutation this is compression permutation and this is called s box s means substitution box so we have this type of design is there for s box we can use this s box uh, for to convert our original bit into this thing just vigner cipher do you understand we use that uh, 26 by 26 matrix and we can use the row and column uh, like this way the exact so we will discuss this in the next lecture first and then actually the algorithm will start so it is there but uh, time is not permitted okay so we'll detail uh, discuss about each box in the next lecture that's all